Good afternoon, everyone. I am here to talk about reporting on Azure Backup with Power BI and how this is very useful to any organization. So a little bit about myself. I'll try not to bore you too much. I'm Craig, an Azure Delivery Consultant. I've been in IT for 10 years, dealing with a wide range of customers in the public and private sector. I primarily focus on Azure and the hybrid cloud. I joined Power On Platforms in January this year in their, within their consultancy practice, and so far it's been amazing to work for this company. You can find me on Twitter at Craig Cloud IT Pro or catch my personal blog, craigcloudITPro.wordpress.com. So about Power On Platforms, you're probably aware of this company if you're joining this webinar. If not, I'll give you some background. So Power On Platforms, they have developed a set of unique game-changing solutions. So if you know anything about this company, you'll know how credible their solution delivery methods are using their fast-track deployments. The business now features a suite of market-led products which are helping organizations realize the benefits of a higher output and increase organizational flexibility using automation to deploy bespoke solutions into any environment, you cutting out the button clicker, if you will. Um, we have some MVPs that work with us at PowerOn, one of which is our product development director, Steve Beaumont. He's a system center ninja. Uh, he's written numerous cookbooks, uh, a regular speaker at Microsoft. Um, if you give his name a, a quick search, you'll be able to see some of the great stuff which he's actually done. Um, he's also a massive slave driver. Um, don't tell him I said that. One of our main mottos is work smart, not hard. So if you're doing something manually on a regular basis, you should have really automated this by now. So on today's agenda, I've got uh, some demos to run through. Uh, first question is why? Why would we want to implement this? I will then show you how to configure uh, Azure Backup Reporting with Power BI. I will then show you the dashboards, alerting, and then connecting data sources, uh, and then show you how this can be used, not just for IT, but on a personal level. And then we'll finish off with a summary and anybody who's got some questions at the end. So why? Why would you want to connect your Azure Backup service to Power BI? Well, why wouldn't you? If you're currently running IaaS VMs and you're backing them up, you could just leave them or you could utilize this service. So if you like me and you like groovy dashboards, nice visualizations to say, hey, this backup's healthy. Uh, and you know, it displays a nice green donut or whatever. Um, People like to see nice charts, colorful charts, showing you of how healthy they are. Or if not, you know, if they're red and they're screaming, fix me now. You know, you can get this functionality from using Azure uh, Backup and Power BI, providing you have an Azure subscription and Power BI is free. So it doesn't only have to be Azure Backup that you can integrate. This technology is so powerful that you can connect your entire Azure subscription to intelligently monitor your infrastructure. And also it's, it's free, I'm not sure if I mentioned that. So we're now gonna have a look at configuring uh, the Azure Backup reporting side. So right now, the backup reports function in Azure is currently in preview. So there are a few minor bugs, but I'm pretty sure these will be ironed out within time. The reports for Azure SQL, DPM, and Microsoft Azure Backup Server are currently not supported at this time. Setting this up was incredibly easy. Uh, I've never used Power BI before, so with any new technology I don't know, it was a simple YouTube, how does this work? Um, so let's see how we actually set this up. So right now I've navigated into my recovery services vault. 
uh, if I scroll down you'll be able to see the monitoring and reports and we'll click back up and reports now here it's, it's telling me to go straight to my Power BI dashboard because I've already pre-configured this but if I click the configure button it will guide me through setting up a new storage account and configuring the backup reports for diagnostics so we've got the Power BI dashboard and we've got it open so it's already open here so this data source for Power BI is free so to connect this we'll go get data Microsoft app source we'll click services and we'll click get now once this is populated a list of apps we'll scroll down and we will select Azure backup so we click Azure backup it gives you a brief description of what it does and how you can be export them for stored for long retention periods of time and then we'll select get it now now once you do this your dashboards won't display any information for approximately 24 hours but after this period you will start to see data being generated so here you would literally enter your new storage account in and then one of your access token keys so i've already done that and voila we have our dashboard doesn't that look great so straight away i can see some nice colorful stuff going on you know i've got some green i haven't got red if i got red i'd probably be very concerned right now but we've got green straight away we've got one protected instance now this is kind of bizarre because i'm pretty sure i protected two virtual machines we can check this in the portal by going back into our recovery services vault I'd select my backup items select our virtual machines it says backup count two yes I have backed up two virtual machines but it's shown as one protected instance okay that's a little bit abnormal but you know we can go with it again storage 57.296 kilobytes so 57 meg now I'm pretty sure my virtual machines are a little bit more than 57 meg so on our backup we have our cloud storage at nearly 56 gig so okay I understand this is still in preview but these things will be ironed out but straight away you've got great nice colorful looking donut charts everybody loves a good donut so you can see summary you've got storage you've got backup items which will show you a list of items backed up successfully at their time and then we have job health again this is all green this is all beautiful and everybody likes to see green if you like to see red well you've got some work to do we have job duration so we can see how long my AIP VM test took to take and my Azure backup VM so alerts now i recently configured this and it is a great feature to set up so with this alerting we can literally just jump straight to the dashboard click on one of the ellipses here and then we click the tiny little bell there which is manage alerts i've already created alert so i'll click the drop down and this alert is active and it is going to email me to send an email to when the threshold goes above five megabytes now this is great within five minutes i've literally or less than that i've set this up and then bang i get an email so straight away this is fantastic you know i've set an alert i've got this i've got my email but that's just not the end of alerting there is a free mobile application so you can see data right on your mobile phone a good scenario for this is you could be about to tee off on an 18 holder in Spain you get an email alert saying power bi backups have failed you could open the app you could check the status and you could actually see what is you know actually going on and then you'd obviously put in a call to the IT department and it would come back and say we're working on it but it's not just everything it, you know it's not just IT data but with Power BI you can 
connect data so easily. It supports a, vi a wide range of sources. So you've got Excel, SQL, uh, CSV, text. You can even import from a web page. So like I said, it's not just for IT data. Now, I'm a big NFL fan and my team is New England Patriots. So I grabbed some raw data from that website on last year's season and I imported it into my Power BI desktop and then I published it to my dashboard. So I'll just show you this. So this is my, oops. This is my uh, New England Patriots Power BI dashboard. So here last season, we won 17 games. If we click the 17 games, if you see that, two go on like colored. So they go like a darker color. So the games lost, we actually lost two. If I hover over again, it says games lost two. And it shows me that we lost one game against Seattle Seahawks and another game against Buffalo Bills. But this section of the donut is actually half because we actually won one of the games as well within there. So again, great feature, very easy to set up. And then I actually did some analysis on uh, average score per game. So average score per home game was set up within, it took me a few minutes to set this up. Um, as long as you're quite familiar with uh, database uh, macros and Excel and things like that, you know, you can easily get around this. So the average home score was 28.68, which is a pretty good score if you ask me. We won the Super Bowl, so I was happy with that. Now that we've seen this, we can also add other parts of your Azure into Power BI. Now, I have added uh, Azure audit logs in here. Uh, I'll be honest, I haven't really used it or played around with it. So it's going to be very touchy around here because I probably won't know what I've clicked. Um, but straight away, you can see, you know, great colorful dashboards. We've got a donut here. We've got a chart there. We've got an auto scale thing here for some Azure service healths. So if we just click in the events by resource type, um, okay, we've got some charts here, 13,000 events, that is a hell of a lot of events. So these are by resource type. So if I can click, say, security, it's going to show me all my security warnings and types. What about my recovery services vault? Okay, it's displaying all the data that my recovery services vault is processed now i'm guessing that's going to be from okay so that's going to be from the recent dates so if we look at auto scale okay it's going to show that i did an auto scale and it succeeded uh, in scaling down um okay that's good so search events so on the search events we it looks like you can see failed um, events as well. So if I click the failed events, what did it actually fail on? And if I navigate down to compute and I click failed, it will show me that, okay, so it's failed on building managed disks, uh, failed to convert managed disks, failed to add a custom script extension. Okay, that's in the failures. Let's see some succeeded. So it succeeded in deleting the disks, deleting virtual machines, availability sets, uh, disks. Uh, okay, so straight away, you know, you've got so much power within this. And when you start to navigate through and add more services, you'll be able to see, uh, you know, the great potential that Power BI can give you. Um, there's the Power BI desktop, which you can actually uh, download yourself uh, and then you can actually, you know, start building your own queries um, and data. So to summary, this is very beneficial for any CIO, CTO or IT director that doesn't want to shift through raw you know data they don't want to sit there and go through an excel spreadsheet you know plowing through emails i need to find out when our stats were at whatever date 
um, we're losing money, etc. You know, they want to see visual aspects of things. So when this type of product comes available straight away, you know, these are the type of people that want to be wowed by this. This is the wow factor to them. Hey, look at this. You've got our uh, own dashboard with you know, um, figures from last year, and you can see compared to the prior year, we've, we're actually up. Um, and, you know, you've got the instant alerting, you've got email capability with straight access from direct from your mobile phone. So as long as you have uh, the credentials for Power BI, uh, and you've got a sufficient supported uh, handheld device, then you can great straight away see alerts receive email alerts um, and see the funky dashboards so to summarize what we've covered yeah there are a few minor bugs in the backup reporting with power bi but it's still in preview so a lot of this stuff will be ironed out like it is anything to do with Azure, there's new features being plumbed like every other day. So it takes us, the consultants, you know, really, we really have to keep on our toes um, with this sort of technology. Um, but there's so much cool stuff that Power BI can do. So, you know, go download it, have a play around, create some dashboards, make some charts, go grab some donuts you know, transfer some raw data into Power BI and actually make it as visually sexy and highly intelligent as as, as you want for any business needs. Um, so yeah, just go have a play. Uh, it's very easy to use, it's very easy to set up. Um, if there's any questions, uh, please, please let me know. Okay, I'm Craig Fretwell, and I'd like to thank you for joining. If you require any more information, please visit www.poweronplatforms.com. Alternatively, email info at poweronplatforms.com. Thank you.